the chipmunks are back. And I'm back. Right behind you. Right behind you. Right there. Hey. And this is jerk face. Whoops. Here. It's a small one. And I just noticed the jerk face has some kind of weird tumor on its side. Not this side, the other side. Let's see if we can get him to turn around next time he comes back. That was just a small peanut. Come on, jerk face. I'm trying to so you can see it. See that? Did you see that? It's gross. It looks like he's got a nipple growing out of the side of his body. It's like really nasty. <laughs> I took a shortcut, did you, buddy? <laughs> the squirrels eat these nuts are funny. Look at this. Oh, he jumped down. What are you doing? You want peanuts? Look at you guys, you're going crazy. Here. And then I got a special surprise. Oops, here, buddy. Be nice. Be nice. Whoops, right. And now, come on, buddy. Come here. It's okay. This has got, this is Stubby the tail. He had no tail like a little while ago. Now it's kind of growing back. Come on, it's okay. There you go. There's Stubby. Hey, buddy. That's not Stubby. That's Sweetie. Oh, that's why. That's why he wasn't moving anywhere. It's too big to carry, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you making all that noise? That's stubby. He's gonna go bury his nut. He looks like a rabbit. We'll come back out and see if stubby. Hey, stubby. Okay, come here. I'm gonna take care of you first, I know. There's a lineup. Oh my god, look at the size of that. Stubby should have taken that one. Come here, Stubby. <laughs> it's okay. Where'd you go? There you are. It's okay. It's okay. You want a peanut? 
It's a little peanut. Come on, Chipmunk. Come on. You got one in your mouth, buddy. Can you eat that? No? Can you bury it? Hey, buddy. You don't want to? No? I'm sorry, I got a thing for underdogs, and Stubby is an underdog. He's got a disadvantage to the other squirrels. So. Oh my god, he's right there. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Do you want a peanut? I gotta be able to open the door. I can't open the door if you're standing right there. You can't see where he's going. Get away from the door and I'll give you a peanut. Oh, yeah, you didn't think I'd be right there, did you? It's okay, stubby. I'm taken. There you go. Oh, you're almost at it. Don't be distracted by me. There you go. Yeah. Want another one? For some reason, the Beyonder. Oh my god, that's not the Beyonder. That's fucking Call You. Call You's back. I didn't even realize Call You was in the mix again. When I came back from house sitting, I hadn't seen him at all. I thought he either fucked off or. I'm kind of convinced that when there's severe thunder and lightning storms. That when there's severe thunder and lightning storms, that. It freaks the shit. Like, I mean, because they're pretty skittish creatures, right? So you think about it. You're that size, and the thunder shaking the ground. Can you imagine? So I think that might be why I don't see them for a couple of days after storms. It's because they're fucking scared to go outside. Because can you imagine the sky being that small? And thunder and the lightning and holy shit especially though i mean some of that thunder shakes the ground you're a little creature in there can you imagine feeling that oh poor little bastards and yeah so uh stumpy stumpy was part of uh jerk face the wonder squirrels crew um back around i think they might have been like siblings because they used to be around there were three of them that used to hang out together and then they kind of eventually split off. I think that there's a young one that's here. I think that may be the offspring of jerk face. Um, but I hadn't seen Stumpy. I saw Stumpy in the winter and he had like a rat tail. Like there's no fur on that tail whatsoever. And now it's like almost like a chipmunk tail. It's got like a bit of fur. And I did see something that was interesting about the chipmunks. They're kind of like cats. And when they get, um, I guess maybe there's danger or you know they're freaked out or whatever their tails kind of puff up because I noticed that a couple of times uh, interacting with the chipmunks when um, Stumpy was around that their tails were like super fluffy and uh, it, it was a noticeable difference so I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there but um, it was funny because I was out on a walk with Nancy and just past these houses this way uh, the trail comes up to the street and um, when we were walking up there, I saw Stumpy, and I, and I had a couple of peanuts, and Nancy was commenting that I was being nice to a squirrel, and I was like, well, it's not in my yard fucking with my chipmunks. But when I offered Stumpy a peanut, he was very receptive. Um, I think my friends that live a, a couple of houses down there, Al and Jess, I think Stumpy might be a squirrel that they... Um, feed um, but so anyway so I, I threw Stumpy a couple of peanuts 
and then Nancy and I walked, you know, down two houses, well it would have been like three, three houses, down to my place, and we were just sitting in the driveway talking, and all of a sudden Stumpy comes hopping into the driveway. And um, yeah, so he's been kind of mooching off me for the evening here. And then yeah, I, um, my the ordeal with jerk face. Um, I was thinking about calling the SPCA. I don't know if anybody knows or has a comment on whether you think that if I called the SPCA and we trapped that squirrel, if they would, you know, I don't know, whatever they do for endangered animals that have cancer or whatever's going on on the side of jerk face. Because I mean, I can't say it's a tumor for sure, but it looks. Like it, it, it doesn't look like a wound like it doesn't look like an attack wound like it looks like something like a zit and a blackhead came off but it's really big on the size of its body and that can't be good like it, it don't look right so it can't be right right but I don't know if uh, anybody would actually do anything I mean it's a fucking squirrel right <laughs>